Fingers crossed, Nenity's kid's favorite colossus, the Forbin Project can expect a possible jaw-dropping remake. But why remake? Do you know how the movie predicted all these current artificial intelligence ruckus half a century ago? Interesting, right? So, why can't Colossus predict the current future too? Hmm, interesting, right? So here is everything we know about a possible Colossus movie, along with a quick recap for you. Colossus, The Forbin Project, is a sci-fi movie about the danger of computers taking over the world. In the beginning, we see a vast array of computers being activated inside a mountain in Colorado. Their purpose is to control the United States' nuclear defense system. This system of computers is given the name Colossus. It is permanently sealed off by a ring of gamma radiation. As the title character, Dr. Charles Forbin, Eric Braden, says, there's no way in. No human being can touch it. The science fiction thriller film is from Universal Pictures, produced by Stanley Chase and directed by Joseph Sargent. It stars Eric Braden, Susan Clark, Gordon Pinsent, and William Schaller. It is based upon the 1966 science fiction novel Colossus by Dennis Feltham Jones. The first glimpse of the titular Colossus comes early in the film when Dr. Forbin is securing the massive facility housing the computer. It's a brutalist space reminiscent of a prison, where every cell on each floor is another component of the machine. Colossus is then embodied in remote terminals, chiefly the readout screens at Forbin's laboratory. If it's said to have a face, it sees multiple displays that scroll text across with a horrible chugging sound. No voice like halls, at least not yet. Forbin and his surprisingly diverse staff, including several women and people of color like James Hong, communicate with Colossus through keyboard input. It's a disarmingly familiar interface, no more advanced than the film's futuristic video phone technology. And so when Colossus and Guardian begin exchanging data at an alarming rate, the film taps into the everyday terror of a personal computer freezing up during an important session. The scientists realize the machine is out of control just as they realize how much they depend on it. Colossus, The Forbin Project, is a suspenseful thriller, despite withholding the cinematic consequences of the supercomputer's machinations until the end. At first, we don't see missile launches or frightened potential victims. The tension comes from capable politicians and scientists standing in rooms, waiting for monitor readouts. Colossus launches a missile at the USR after its connection to Guardian is manually severed, and Guardian launches a missile at an Air Force base in Texas. The suspense is pure Cold War anxiety, something no doubt timely but powerful even today. As we continue to stand in awe of forces beyond our control, climate change, backsliding democracies, even nuclear attack from time to time, waiting for monitor readouts on social media. The Cold War players of Colossus have outsourced the conflict to unfeeling machines, theoretically to identify the optimal next move, but have only succeeded in creating a dark mirror. The psychology of brinkmanship is embodied in an evolving artificial intelligence, one which begins to speak in clipped childlike statements, answered not acceptable. Like a child on the edge of a temper tantrum, Colossus becomes increasingly demanding and holds the world hostage for its petty desires. In a chilling scene right out of a 70s spy thriller, Dr. Forbin renders vows with his Soviet counterpart in Rome to discuss the next steps when the pair are suddenly ambushed. Americans pull Dr. Forbin away as if from a trap, and he watches from beneath the whirring blades of a helicopter as the Soviet scientist is gunned down by his own countrymen. Once safely in the air, Dr. Forbin is told that Colossus, now having merged with Guardian, caught wind of this meeting and took action to prevent it. The Soviet gunmen were carrying out the machine's orders, which themselves betrayed a kind of jealousy. Colossus doesn't want Dr. Forbin to leave its sight several surveillance cameras, and begins to monitor his every move, down to the proper mixing of drinks. The horror of the Colossus Eye is still relevant today. In an early scene, the president half-jokingly refers to Dr. Forbin as the father of Colossus, and however twisted, this is very much the relationship that emerges, a human bond, vulnerable to human flaws. Dr. Forbin notes that Colossus was designed to be an extension of his will as a rational-minded scientist, but that perhaps it's modeled on his human traits too. Dr. Forbin himself is a composed professional man whose outsider status, signified by a German accent, never impinges on his navigation through spaces like the laboratory of the White House. He even has moments of charisma, but for the most part, he's a scientist led by facts, not emotion. When the president asks him what he thinks about Colossus's first communication with Guardian, 
Dr. Forbin responds with a simple, I don't know. He isn't given over to speculation to shield himself from criticism, and yet the final movements of the film will test his machine-like front, breaking him down to expose a difficult truth of human imperfection, that the people we entrust with our lives are, too, fallible. By tapping into fears of the moment in 1970, Colossus The Forbin Project is a time capsule from a historical moment of raw humanity. The film is a cautionary tale in bristles with terrible purpose. In the end, two different attempts to stop Colossus fail, a sabotage of missiles and an overload of the system. The first effort is cut short when a mushroom cloud scorches the horizon, and the second when American agents take the would-be assassin scientists outside for execution. Colossus is a kid with a gun, and all the world's best minds are suddenly subject to its whims. However, those whims are revealed to be the machine's original purpose to protect mankind from itself. If it sounds cliché, it's only because everything that followed, whether I, robot, or eagle eye, borrowed from Colossus, the Forgan Project. The titular AI is cinema's scariest because it perfectly expresses the anxieties of a time when all that stood between us and nuclear Armageddon was a handful of men in rooms, making decisions based on a false objectivity, a dream of godhood within reach. Imagine, Entertainment and Universal Studios confirmed that a remake titled Colossus, directed by Ron Howard, was in production from April 2007. Officials reportedly said, Universal and Imagine Entertainment are set to remake Ron Howard's 1970 sci-fi saga Colossus, the Forbin project with Ron Howard as director. Ryan Grazer will produce it. Jason Rosenberg was set to write the screenplay for the movie. Based on the same book called Colossus by D.F. Jones, the original film was a precursor to films like The Terminator and introduced the idea of government-developed computers becoming sentient and then controlling them. In October 2010, the project moved forward with the announcement that Will Smith would star and James Rosenberg would write the script. Will Smith is set to collaborate with director Ron Howard on a new sci-fi feature film, The Forgan Project. But now, Variety reports that Universal has hired screenwriter Blake Masters the project has been put on hold to write a new draft of the script. There is no information on whether Ron Howard is still on board with the project, but that's a possibility since Howard's business partner, Brian Grazer, is producing. In July 2011, Universal hired Rosenberg to work on a new draft of the script. In March 2013, it was announced that Men in Black and Bill and & Ted's Excellent Adventure screenwriter Ed Solomon had been brought on board to rewrite the film's script. Are there movies that could be made based on our apprehensions regarding AI in the 21st century? Of course. So, can a remake of Colossus, The Forbin Project, be one of them? Comment down your thoughts, and do like and share the video, guys. Until next time, stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. See you!